happy early, early morning. Um, I <laughs> went to the gym but didn't have my headphones and music is such an integral part of my workout that I will be returning and going back for a slightly later morning workout. But um, I had sent uh, a message to uh, a circle sister and I, I wanted to share it here because I think it has that same relevance of what's going on in the world being echoed by what is going on inside me. And what I always offer is that if this is something that resonates with you, I just want really the whole purpose of these is for you to recognize that all these strange kind of tumultuous feelings that are going on right now, you're not alone. You're not alone. Because I what is happening in the world is is what's happening inside ourselves. So that feeling of like, for me, sometimes it feels like slow cartwheels um, of change for better and for worse, but very um, uncentered at times. I, I, I'm there. I'm so with you. But what I want to offer today is something that I studied yesterday. Um, and it is the beauty and where we are right now in the shape of a mandorla, right? So a mandala that we've seen before is circular in shape. It's very symmetrical. It, it's kind of the symbol of balance and harmony. The mandorla is the sliver, the almond-shaped sliver where two circles intersect. It's that small piece in the middle. And what that signifies is how two contrasting or contradictory ideas can survive in harmony alongside each other in that intersection point. And I talked about this just the other day, and this is this was like the perfect illustration of that. There's a lot of it in medieval art, which is very interesting. Um, but, you know, I wanted to explain that I feel like uh, it's a beautiful symbol for the times that we are in. That, you know, my, my, my sister was complaining of anything that smacks of like artifice or artificial nature puts her right off. Like she's so sensitive to it. And yet she was able to observe two children grieving their father that she was very close to who recently passed away. And I, and I, that's the contrast I, you know, I, I wanted her to pay attention to is the most authentic kind of devotion and love that appears in grief alongside like the platitudes that you hear that, that at a funeral that sometimes just strike you the wrong way, right? But it's that center point where they overlap, where, where the beauty is and where we can hang on to in these times that seem very tumultuous. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that came up for me is um, and, and it's kind of the, the, another illustration of that is that of the burning bush, meaning that there is the flame and there is the bush, but neither consumes the other. They are able to exist at the same place in the same time in a seeming paradox, and yet they both have the room, space, oxygen, and time to exist, and they shouldn't, and that's the miracle. And what I, what the analogy I want to draw is if you're in that place where you feel pulled apart, where you feel in the thick of it and you feel like being spun in the fucking spin cycle, that is the presence of God there. The ability to hold the paradox is God. It is the appearance of God in your life. And it's not always going to be beautiful and jubilant and joyful. Sometimes it is just as witness and to hold space for you. So those are the two things I just wanted to offer because I, I think that they're, they're such a, an example and magnification of what's going on for me and what I feel is going on in the world. You know, I mentioned a wobble yesterday. Yeah, this is kind of what that wobble consists of. It's the slow cartwheel into the new, but it's happening in such a protracted way. You can't help but feel every undulation of it, which is both sublime and torturous. You're like, get to it already. And then you're like, oh, I understand the unfolding. Again, it, it's, it's the ability to suspend the paradox that's going to get us to the new place. 
that inside the vehicle of our the inside the vehicle of our bodies and using the exertion of our bodies to truly feel through this moment. And that is what I leave you with today. And I will see you tomorrow.